everybody. I'm Ernie Hatmaker, and uh, for those of you who have been following along, um, I used to have a um, a bed of it was an in-ground bed of onions and ooh, brassicas, and yeah, I'm kind of dressed like an Eskimo out in the 90-degree weather right now because you know that's the only way to keep the horse flies and mosquitoes from having dinner better yet having me for dinner <laughs> um so yeah yesterday ed uh made the uh the raised bed from that bed where all that stuff was mowed over and so that's done and we're gonna let the soil sit for a little bit let the microbes do their thing and once they settle, we'll put some stuff in here. There are moths and butterflies really getting into this. I started harvesting the sweet corn and um, we're removing the stalks little by little instead of plowing them right now we're just um, cutting them basically with um, large trimmers trying not to disturb the ground too much the sunflowers in front of the corn are still doing good um, they're kind of leaning over because of the weight of the heads and we decided not to stake them just let them do their thing We have begun harvesting seeds. There's a couple little bugs that have found their way in since we moved some of the uh, cinder blocks. But uh, these seeds are viable. But what we have to do before we can plant them, if that's what we were going to do, if we're going to use them for food, uh, we could use them right away. But because we want to plant them, um, they would have to go in the freezer or the refrigerator. I'd have to put them out and let them hang out for the winter so that they winter over. Hey, check that out. That guy's hiding in there. I mean, he's pretty chunky. We have harvested the cabbages. Um, we're starting to get a lot more of the Arkansas Traveler's tomatoes. A lot more from these two cages. The ones at the trellis are, you know, hit and miss. You know, sometimes we'll get a ton and sometimes we won't.